In this video, we're going to cover authenticating with the MYB Account Right API running in the cloud. To get started, we'll click the MYB Company tab, which is where we set up our preferences. So for API type, I'm going to simply select cloud, which is probably the default setting. And I don't need to make any other um, adjustments at this stage. You just need to make sure the uh, redirect URL has the HTTP colon slash slash desktop value, which should already be entered. Let's click the Authenticate button to get started. The first thing this will do is um, load a uh, login page to the my.myb um, secure website. So you just enter your normal uh, my.myb login details. So I'll enter my account details. And we'll click Sign In. And you can see that that's uh, loading up a page. And if there weren't any errors with your login, um, you'll essentially get taken to a blank page. Um, behind the scenes, it's um, generated some tokens for us, so we need to extract those tokens. So we simply click the Continue button to uh, extract those tokens, and you'll see now that it has successfully authenticated with the Cloud API. And uh, what that's done is given us an access token, and that access token runs for about 20 minutes. And you can see here, uh, that's when it's going to expire. You don't need to worry about this as we handle the automatic refreshing of those uh, access tokens uh, just before they're about to expire. So the next step is to go over to the company files tab and uh, get a list of all the company files that you have access to. So these would be the same ones that you'd see when you log into your MIB account on the website. And in this case I just have access to the uh, sandbox demo file and there's no uh, particular selection to make here because it's d defaulted to the single company file, but if there were multiple company files, you would choose them uh, from this list. Now we're ready to uh, test that this is working, so we can try and download something, say the uh, tax codes. So let's jump over to the tax codes tab, and we'll click the uh, import tax codes button. Now it's asking to authenticate against the actual selected company file, in this case the API Sandbox Demo 51 MOB file. So I'll simply enter my credentials, just like I would if I was using the actual account right applic application itself. And if this is successful, it will um, download a list of all the tax codes from the selected account right file. And as you can see, they have um, come down successfully. Uh, furthermore, you could uh, download some categories, chart of accounts, or even things like uh, items, contacts, invoices, payments, employees, etc. Just on the authentication, uh, if we were to close this file and uh, open it again, I'll show you what happens with the subsequent authentication uh, types. Uh, if I enter the password, it would be good. Okay, so we've uh, logged in again. If we go to the MYB Company tab, we haven't quit FileMaker. So it, it's remembered our selection, so we don't need to keep selecting that if that's the same file you're going to work with. Uh, when we click Authenticate this time, you'll see it, it takes us straight to a blank web viewer. Uh, you'll notice there's a little padlock icon in the bottom right, so you know it's actually loaded a page. Um, just like a web browser, would it it's remembered our um, session details with the my.myb website, so we don't need to log into that again. So we simply just hit continue, and it will uh, generate the access token uh, for us. And uh, we're away. You can see it's generated the token. So don't panic if you just see a blank web viewer. Uh, that just means it's already remembered your my.myb login credentials, and you don't need to enter those again. Thank you for your time.